Hi friends. Welcome to 30 inks, 30 days, day 11. This is the one where my partner's in the next room playing a shooter game and swearing occasionally. So <laughs> apologies in advance if you are subjected to, you know, naughty language and toxicity. So, <laughs> but first, Let's look at yesterday's ink. This is Dorchester Blue. I loved the drink. After the video, I had some of the guacamole I made and I felt like it needed more. So I took a little bit of it and I put it in a little bowl and I made, uh, and I added sambal olic, which is an Indonesian spice and it was great. <coughs> but that, was yesterday. Let's move on to today. So I don't know. I knew where this came from. Basically, I'm thumbing through my Tiki cocktail book, which is Smuggler's Cove, by the way. It's a bar here in San Francisco, and I have never been. How have I never been? I really want to go. Anyway, I digress, sort of, kind of. Anyway, I'm looking through there to see what drinks I have ingredients for. And I finally found one that I had the ingredients and the stuff. Mostly. It's supposed to be crushed ice. Y'all, I'm not crushing ice. Not even doing it. So the drink is the Kai Tur Swizzle. Named after, I think the Kai Tur Falls in Guyana. I haven't tried it yet. It has maple syrup in it. It's supposed to be grade A, but I only have grade B. And okay, so technically I didn't really have the ingredients, but like y'all, maple syrup. It smells phenomenal. Y'all, that drink is amazing. Uh, amazing. Hold on. Okay. Presumably held on. Anyway, to go with this drink that's named for some waterfalls, I picked... KWZ, or as the Countess would say, Caveze, Turquoise, and my Wall Town Lumley, which I felt like was not a horrible choice, right? I'm glad. And I'll be honest, I did I picked this and not one of these other inks that is totally distinct and not the same. <clears throat> Because it smells like vanilla. Mm -mm -mm. So, let's get to inking and drink mm, that drink, y'all. Maple syrup. What? And it was so pretty to make. Oh my gosh. This I was gonna call it a cookbook. I mean, it kind of is. Drink book doesn't sound right. Oh my gosh. Weekly. Okay, chill out, Maria. Chill. We're chilled. As my friend Pete would say, chilling out, mouth open. <laughs> my friend Pete is um, my friend. And he's here on YouTube and he posts videos that are of his Twitch streams where he is gaming with Retab, which is his name, Peter, backwards. Don't know if you know that. Um, I have like this weird habit of reading all names like backwards. If they're at all like, I don't want to say untraditional, uncommon to me. Okay. So anyway, let's go. What do we say we're doing? Okay. This is KWZ. Oh, oh yeah. It smells so good. Tur. Um, Wall Town Lumley with a broad nib. This is obscene. And this is the Kai Tur Swizzle. The cool thing about this drink is, as far as 
tiki drinks go, once you have the ingredients, it's easy to make. It's just like put it in a glass and swizzle. Oh. I'm gonna need a moment with my drink, apparently. I love that I like open, closed. One of these days, maybe I'll remember to like do the stuff while the jar is open. Jar, yeah, is open. But that day is not right now. <laughs> that day is not right now? It's fine. No day, like today? Okay. That's not enough. I'm gonna have to, oh. So I was looking at my month to see like where are the gaps in my my color story and then I was like, what gaps? It's like gorgeous dark blues. And I was like, well, maybe I'll get some bright in there. Um, hence turquoise. Because there are other drinks that could go with drinks. <laughs> Inks, Maria, maybe? Inks, you might mean? <clears throat> that could go with uh, something representing falls right okay um <laughs> i'm sorry i'm a mess i just mean in life uh okay this is a beautiful page mm. okay turn the page write the words at the top Day 11, Maria. Don't forget the day. Hashtag. Hashtag. 30 inks. 30 days. April 2024. Day 11. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm listening to him. Is there someone on the rock? There's someone on top, on top of the rock? On top of the rock? On top of the rock? It's great. <laughs> Pin. Wall town. Lumley. B. Drink. Kiter Swizzle Good enough. Let's splat. <gasps> Sorry, sometimes I just have to like make weird noises. <gasps> oh no. Splatorious supplies got on the, the thing. It's fine. That's what makes them split, split, splatorious. And we're prepared. We're ready for our violent splatting. <gasps> it's making a heart. <gasps> okay, I'm not touching it because it's kind of heart-ish. I'm not touching it. She touches it. Vaguely heart-ish. This one is vaguely cactus-ish. So we'll do, do that to it. It's a cactus with an exploding head. As you frequently find them in nature. <clears throat> okay. It smells so good though, y'all. Can you smell that? Mmm, smell. Yeah, it's vanilla. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's come over here and write down day 11. This ink is so beautiful. Okay. Vise. Turquoise. Um,
This has three fourths ounce lime juice, half ounce maple syrup. Also, you have to use real maple, maple syrup for this. Half ounce velvet falernum. You should use the one that's John D. Taylor's. That one is like, anyway, there's different kinds. Look for that. It comes in a bigger bottle. Two Oz blended aged rum. I'm using this one. It's like Appleton Estate 12 or something. Anyway, two dashes Angostura bitters. I usually use Fee Brothers bitters for my um, thingy, old-fashioned, super cinnamony, which is a fun thing to say. But I went ahead and followed the recipe. I might try this again with the more cinnamony one. There's our back of nib swatch. Y'all, my hands are like, I'm blue. Da -ba -dee, da -ba -da. Anyway, beautiful. This isn't really, it's still drying. So I guess we're not doing calendar page. Um, Kind of heartish, vaguely, but not really. We <laughs> the pin rolls off. Here. There, perfect, right? Perfect. <laughs> I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves.